Since the very beginning, man has been on a quest. Imagine a world lit only by fire and the moon. And that's what our life would be like. A quest to reproduce the sun's glorious daylight artificially. You couldn't have meetings at night because you couldn't see. You couldn't get together for sports. You couldn't travel when you wanted to travel safely. A quest fueled by man's need and desire to extend the day and to make dark places habitable. In recent years, this quest has been marked by constant change. I've been in lighting now 22 years as a professional. More has changed in the last two years than the previous 20. We're continually discovering new things about how light impacts all of us. Light affects us in many ways. I think we're all aware of that. A bright sunny day, you step out, you feel good. We're just starting to understand the effect of light on the human body. Where has this quest taken us? What challenges and opportunities lie ahead? How will artificial light illuminate our future? Change, as they say, is constant. But it's only natural to resist change when it means giving up something you need and you've been using as far back as you can remember. Especially when that something is easy to use and relatively inexpensive. Consider Exhibit A, the incandescent light bulb. With the Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007, the U.S. federal government is phasing out the incandescent light bulb. First on the hit list, the 100 watt bulb. The incandescent is being phased out because it's so inefficient. It was invented 130 years ago and it's never changed. We've got such good technology now where we can use a tenth of the energy. When I was a kid, my mom would send me to the store and I'd buy a 60 watt light bulb and I knew what that meant. Nowadays, you could buy, say, a technology that was 15 watts that might produce the same amount of light. So there's going to have to be a lot of clarification for the consumer and by the consumer on exactly what light is. Instead of buying a 60 watt bulb, you can now buy a 13 watt compact fluorescent, a 10 watt LED, or a 40 watt halogen bulb and save 25% in energy consumption. We will also need to pay closer attention to the color each bulb emits. Is it a warm yellow color which creates a relaxing atmosphere? Or is it a cool blue color, like a sunny blue sky, which will make us more alert? A vast array of different light sources are headed our way. Change will be fast and furious. At times, it's going to be confusing, frustrating, and even intimidating, especially at first. But there's no standing in the way of progress. New products, new ideas is going to come much more frequent than we, uh, uh, than we know. From now on, I think this lighting industry is going to move very fast and it's going to be very exciting and it's never going to be the same as we know it. I would say probably five or ten years ago.